crafty friends this is lynn the gift diva welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing well safe healthy all that good stuff uh coming on today because i am doing a video response for uh polite creations who has reached 1000 subscribers can i get a woot woot um and she is having a giveaway uh challenge and she is asking for a embellishment box um and so I thought I would jump in and do that for her. So here we go. Um, I use this paper. It's Suprema Marketing. It's the Lavender Collection. Uh, I was just walking around aimlessly in my craft room <laughs> looking at papers. And I was like, ooh, this is pretty. So I got this. I think she and I are kindred spirits in that we both favor purple. I think that is how this, I hope this is how that goes, because uh, it's my favorite color, and I thought I heard her say that it was her, one of her favorites, so hopefully this lavender uh, collection will work, and if it's not your favorite color, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I had fun playing with the paper, uh, so let me just quit babbling and show you what I made. So... This is a tutorial from the Crafty Nana, Grammy Nana. I don't know. She'll be linked in the description box below. <laughs> but she did it based on someone else's tutorial. So, and I can't remember who that is right now. But her, the, the one I follow will be in the description box below. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. It turned out so cute. So, I use... um some Spellbinders dies uh, to do the butterflies, and then this little AliExpress bows that I love so much, and then this is a diamond press die. And instead of paper flowers, I use some uh, silks that I have in my had in my stash. They're not really silks because they're from the Dollar Tree, so whatever they use to make their flowers. And um, but I added some diamond dust to sparkle them, make them sparkle, and then just added some heart accents there and this beautiful lace trim that I got from Hobby Lobby that I just had to use. So I used that for the spine of the book. And there's the back. And this uh, seam binding I got from my scrap cabin. So you open it up. Isn't that pretty? And so on the inside, you have two little pockets. And in this pocket, I put, uh, I made her some, uh, I was playing around with my, my wax seals. And so I made her um, a few of wax seals. I just did some random stuff uh, for practice, and they turned out pretty cute. So, well, I thought they turned out pretty cute. So I'm, I'm including those for her to use, and then just two of the AliExpress bows um, for her in the in the colors that I used. And then over here is the embellishment box. Super cute. I just decorated the top and you open it up and the inside is decorated. And so I just, I, you know, I stuck with this kind of purple, gold, silver theme and uh, I included some, I have so many things that would fit in an embellishment box in my stash because I'm such a charm doodad hoarder. And um, so I chose things that she would she could probably use. So these are flower centers uh, that I got from AliExpress. So I included those. Some pretty purple buttons that she can uh, knock off the shanks and add to an embellishment. Super cute. Love those. These cute little bird charms that I got from AliExpress. Super cute. Super cute. Love those. And then these I made using... Um, some bottle caps that I got from Amazon and I just added some images and I bought this, I think Bona turned me on to the sparkly uh, bottle cap things to put in there. And so they've got, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a little glitter in it. And so I just used some images. I just put in some images um, and made like butterflies. And then I used some of my girl images, which these turned out to be my favorites. Because she can put little holes in them and dangle them on something. Super cute. Little girl drinking coffee and the two girls with their sweater. The other girls have their sweaters on. Too cute. Love that. Then, thought I'd send those in honor of Black History Month. Then I 
I gave her some um, dragonflies and butterflies, which I have a million of. So I shared those. And then I found these cabochons that I bought. Um, really cute that she can either mount into a bezel or add to a project. But I just thought they were super pretty and I have a ton of them. And so I put two of those in there to share with her. These also can be used as flower centers. I use them as flower centers or you can just add them to projects. But they're like cupped little diamondette deals. Then I added some, uh, whoops, some stone beads. I just got actually from Bella Express. They have holes so she can make dangles out of them. Super pretty. These are my favorites. I love these so much. These I use all the time and center of bows. Um, just love those. They just add a little, you know, little pop. So I've given her some of those. Then I found these on a, in clearance somewhere. <laughs> and these are Julie Nutting dolls, but they're miniature wood tags that, you know, you can add on the end of a dangle. You can paint them, color the mini, they take all mediums. You can paint them, do anything you want. You can add them to a keychain or a dangle. Just super cute. So I just gave her one of each that came in the jar. It was a big jar of them. And um, I just gave her one of each that came in, in the jar. So she can play with those. Then these I made. Um, I, from, I, got a, I got the idea from Crafty Kimchi. And made my own uh, dangles. And so I put a few in those, of those in there. And then I just gave her some beads. Some little dangly beads in all the colors. For her to use. Super cute. Oops. So that is going. And I made her um, I made her an envelope using that debossing technique and a card. Enjoy the little things. And I, these are flowers from Scrapping for My Boys. And um, I just incorporated Anna Griffin and the Prima paper. And I left it blank so she could use it and just put a little note in there. Um, super cute. So, what do you think? Isn't that cute? It turned out so cute. I'm so super proud of myself. <laughs> um, this is my entry. Hope she likes it. And um, I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're new here, um, you are bringing me closer to 500. And at 500, we're going to have a giveaway. And so, stay tuned for that. And, um, if you're, uh, you know, if you're an existing new subscriber, you already know I love you. So thank you so much. And I will catch you guys in the next crafty video. Have a good day. Bye.